Welcome, this is my latest video on Software Defined Radio, and in this video I'm going to be setting up a remote Software Defined Radio on a Raspberry Pi. So I'll put a link in the description to my Software Defined Radio playlist if you want to see my other videos. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I currently have a Raspberry Pi here. It's a Raspberry Pi 4, but you should be able to do this on a Raspberry Pi 3 or older model even. And you could really do it on the light versions of the Raspberry Pi OS. I have the desktop version here, but this should work on the light edition. And a Raspberry Pi 3 would probably be a good option because you could do this and run it off a of battery easily because it has lower power requirements than the 4. So I currently have my RTL SDR plugged into the Raspberry Pi 4. So I want to go to a terminal. And I want to update my package list, so I'll type sudo space app space update, and I'll let that run. Okay, I'll clear my screen. Then I want to type sudo space app space install space soapy remote dash server. I'll hit enter. I'll say yes. And this will install the software. Okay, so that's installed. I'll clear this. So now I can type ps space ax space pipe grep dash i and then soap. And if we do that, we'll see the SOAPI server is started automatically. So it says bind here, so this is binding it to all interfaces. So if I type IP space A, I'll hit enter, see if I can adjust this a little bit. Here we have the loopback interface, the Ethernet, and the wireless LAN. I'm plugged into Ethernet right now, and we can see the IP address here is 192.168.7.208. So we can use this to connect to the Raspberry Pi from another application like Cubic SDR, and I've done a number of videos on that for different platforms. So the server is set up now. We need to go to the client and set this up. So if your client works with zero comp, you could also use the host name. So right now it's Raspberry Pi. You could change this to something else too. And that might be good if you think the IP address might change for whatever reason. So I'll switch over to my Mac and then we'll configure this so we can access it over the network. Okay, so I have Cubic SDR open here. And when it first starts up, it has the SDR devices. If you don't have this open, you can go to file and choose SDR devices. So I have this set up under local net here, but if you don't have that there, you go to add. And then it says SOAPY Remote. There's different options. We want to choose SOAPY Remote. And then we'll type the IP address in. Okay. And like I said before, you can also type in the zero comp name if you have that. You could do that as opposed to the IP address. You want to do one or the other. So I'll do the IP address here. And I'll hit OK. So now we see it under Remote. I'll hit Start. And now we see the waterfall here. So I can click on this. And we'll get music. So the way I record these screenshots, you can't hear the music uh, while I'm uh, recording because the microphone's plugged in, but you can see our, we are getting audio here. So you can use this just like um, regular SDR. So I'm going to unplug the antenna. There, you see that stopped, and I hook it back up. Unplug, stop. So this seems to be pretty responsive. It doesn't seem to have that much of a latency here. I am in a basement, uh, although you can't hear it. It was getting a little uh, staticky, but I think it's because I'm in a basement. So that goes to the next thing, why would you want to do this? So it's better to have your uh, SDR closer to your antenna. So what you could do is you could hook your SDR into a Raspberry Pi near the antenna. You could even put it in a waterproof enclosure or you could have it in a part of your house. Uh, you could put it on a deck where you have good radio reception. So if I'm working in the basement and I wanna do SDR stuff, I could have my computer in the basement and I could have the SDR out on my patio or upstairs on top of a bookshelf or something like that and have better reception. And you could also put this somewhere else, at someone else's house, um, you know, in a shed. There's all sorts of options here. And you could run off a battery too. So that's how you set up a remote SDR using Soapy Remote on a Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.